check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. I'm back, grade 9 learners! Ready ka na ba for another English 9 learning episode? Tara, let's start! Our target most essential learning competency for today's lesson is Determine the relevance and the truthfulness of the ideas presented in the material viewed. Simple lang naman ang target objective ng lesson na ito. That is, to analyze whether a certain information presented in a text is relevant and truthful. Paano nga ba malalaman kung makabuluhan at makatotohanan ang isang teksto o akda na iyong binabasa? This lesson is of great importance especially now that fake news is so rampant. Kung mahilig ka magbasa ng social media posts and articles, be careful dahil laganap ngayon ang mga peking balita. The judgment of ideas, points of view, and arguments presented in text or other platforms are important for students' growth as independent thinkers. Learning how to analyze and critically evaluate information's truthfulness helps you develop a sound framework to test your arguments and enrich your points of view. Moreover, it is only through sound judgment and worth of ideas that students can distinguish among challenging claims for truth and determine which arguments and points of views they can trust and those of which they should be skeptical, especially when they view and or listen to the information on the internet or other technological advancement. How can we judge a reading text? Judgment in reading is the ability to make considered decisions or come to sensible conclusions while considering the text details. This generally helps readers in the analysis of the information presented. You have to remember that reading is a goal-directed activity. Kaya ka nagbabasa dahil may purpose ka. Maybe you would want to discover more about the planets and the solar system. And so you will read science books or articles. Or, if you want to know more about our Filipino heroes, then you will read books on history. A text is said to be relevant if it matches with the reader's goal. Therefore, we can conclude that information that closely matches a reader's goal is more relevant, whereas Information that does not match the goal is less relevant, regardless of its importance. Here is a simple illustration. Let's say the text you are reading is about COVID-19. Which among the words associated with it are not relevant? If you answer rainbow and flower, then you are correct. These words are not relevant or irrelevant to the topic or subject. When we say that an information is irrelevant, it means that it is an information not related to what is being discussed. Ibig sabihin, wala itong kaugnayan sa topic o subject, and therefore, not important. Now, you also have to know that not all relevant information are truthful. How can you know if the information is truthful? Paano nga ba malalaman kung makatotohanan ang impormasyon na iyong nababasa? In this age of fake news, medyo challenging talaga yan. At this point, critical thinking is an essential skill that allows you to handpick truthful information. And therefore, fact-checking must be done. Dapat alam ninyo kung paano mag-fact check. This simply means that the ideas or information are considered truthful once it is verifiable. Here is a sequence of steps to follow in fact checking. Read the material. Read the material a second time, marking passages for checking. Write down the claims to check 
and list keywords and potential resources to research. Do the research. Record results including the source. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!